uh, the last line of the book, or a couple lines, so after when he whispers, you love me, real or not real, I tell them real. So that was the last line of the book. We talked a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. But then the epilogue talks, it's just like a page and a half. It's no yeah, very long epilogue, let me tell you. Yeah, that's why but I there's a lot more. It talks about how um, her children um, actually sing the song that she sung to Rue, the hanging tree. but they don't actually get it. Or no, that wasn't the one she sung to Rue. It was the, hang it was the, the hanging tree that her dad always sang to her. No, this is right? actually the song. No, no this, this is the is song the she one. wrote to Rue because I remember we sang it on our podcast. Here's the place where I love you. Okay, yeah, um, that's Ruth. But then she talks about her kids playing on, in the grave, or don't know that, they don't know that they're playing on a graveyard because there were so many lives left. Mm -hmm. But she talks about them, um, um, see, that's when I make a list in my head of every act of goodness I've seen someone do. So when she gets, like, down and about all the nightmares and everything that happened, she thinks about all the good that, that's out there, and she says it's like a game, repetitive, even a little tedious, after more than 20 years. So this is 20 years later that her and Pete has two kids, but I do like the last line here, but there are much worse games to play. Mm -hmm. I really like that line. That was good. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, she jumps like 20 years and only gives you this much. And I wanted a little more of Peta and Katniss. Yeah. It's like, okay, you've went through yeah. all this tragedy. Then you give us a little bit of, yeah. okay, this is what happened in the future. So she leaves it up to your imagination, but I would have rather her, yeah, wrote it, wrote their, more of their happy ending, I guess. Yeah. So. You don't always get a happy ending, but in my fantasy books, I want one. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, overall, we had given this four stars. It was really good. Glad we read it. Glad we read the whole series. Um, yeah, and I'd say if I was going to do, like, the whole series, I'd give the whole series a five. Yeah, I would too. I agree. Mm -hmm. But for this book, just because of the things we just talked about, um, it is why we're get, we give it a four. So, well, and I thought, too, that they spent way too much time in District 13. Yes. That was the I whole first section. There was too much hanging out. Yeah. Just hanging out. Because the way it starts, she's, you know, she's going to 12, she's out. And it leaves it like she's still trying to heal, but I felt like she should already been healed. Mm -hmm. If she's good enough that she can go out to District 12, she should have been good enough that she could go after PETA. <laughs> and she shouldn't have yeah. been sitting there that long just hanging out. Yeah, making plans. I, I understand you gotta go and you gotta say, you know, these families survived, and, you know, she talks about the people that she lost and, and who made it. Mm -hmm. But I just think they spent way too much time just kind of hanging yeah. out before Peta gets into the picture. I did like the rose. When she went to 12 oh, and went upstairs, yeah. how did that get there? Did I guess President Snow did do that. Mm -hmm. Because she just thought she supposed he did. That was good. Oh, I'm But she never sure asked did. him. No, she doesn't. By the way, did you put the rose in my room to freak me out? <laughs> but you know he did. <laughs> that was good. I like that. The, no, the shockers and, and stuff like that were really yeah. good in the book. Like how Peta strangled her. Yeah. Because you rose. didn't see that coming. So, <laughs> I mean, those kind of things. And I mean, I guess... Like, I like the airplane, or the... That they shot down her and Gail. I think yeah. you got up there. I like they that. They climb up on the roof. They're, they're trying to keep that safe. And she just... I mean, that's what she was there for. I mean, she's been through the Hunger Games. She knows. you got to take them out. Yeah. She's not going to hide now. And, you know, she was trying to save the people in the hospital. So... Yeah. I really like her personality, um, so yeah. There, there was a lot of good stuff in the book too. Yeah, and I kind of like that. You know, her and Gail got that where they got to mm -hmm. fight together. She had her moment. You know, because it was always her and Peta in the Hunger Games, and then this was like. Her I didn't like where she kissed him though. No, I didn't like that. I did, but and her then, and Gail got to work together yeah. too. You know, in the rebellion. And then it was it was pretty good that I liked. Um, when Gail realized that the only time that he really got true attention from her was if he was hurt or something, you know, he was going to die or something. And so, and then him and Peta ended up getting to talk. 
-hmm. And he said he knew that she loved PETA and that or whatever, but PETA thought the same thing about him. Well, and I thought it was kind of cool that he came to that realization that she cares about him, but PETA's ultimately, you know, that's the one that she's going to always want. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, whether he's hurt or not hurt, mm -hmm. yeah, he was always on her mind. That's why I wish she would have openly chose him yeah. instead of the way it ended up because whenever she wrote about PETA, there was always like a fire, there was a passion mm -hmm. greater than what was there with Gail. Yeah. And I think her bond with Gail was the whole surviving District 12. Yeah. That was, it was a bond of friendship. And you're never going to break or that. Survi and but as far as, you know, going for the love of your life, you've got to have more than just that bond of survival. There has to be more. And there was with PETA. So I think they, her and Gail should have more of a conversation about... Yeah, yeah I didn't you like might that. as well go off and fight because I, I like need to be with Peter. Gail just went away. She yeah. never had that conversation with him. But she didn't go so, after him and could have. Yeah, well, that's true, but I felt like they, they never ended. You know what I mean? Like, the, it yeah. never was settled yeah, between it wasn't. the two of them that I care about you. You're always going to be, you know, my best friend, basically. My BFF. Yeah. But <laughs> I just feel like they weren't wrapped up. Mm -mm. That's what, but, yeah. Maybe it's just, I'm expecting like you know, that when everything in a nice, neat little bow. But I don't feel like they got, their, they got wrapped up. Well, I guess you're supposed to think he knew that it wasn't really him. Yeah. And he still he wanted to away. fight. So... But he, he just, just walked away. Off. It's yeah. like, I just don't yeah. feel like they have, they, I feel like they should have talked. And her mom, too. Which she talks mm -hmm. to her mom later. But I, I thought. I think that I kind of, that kind of makes sense. I guess that kind sense. of makes sense because of the way she was, fell apart with yeah. her dad and stuff. And she was barely but, hanging on. That's, she And she did talk unstable. later with him, which she never did with Gail. Mm -hmm. So, I guess in a sense that, you know, maybe her mom just needed some time. Yeah. And then she talked to her. Yeah, because in that when she breaks down, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this actually ended up being a book discussion <laughs> on Mocking Jay. So I think that's what we're going to title it. It's probably going to be two parts too. Spoiler book discussion. A while. I think that's what we're going to do from now on. You guys comment if you made it through this whole big long discussion. <laughs> If you made it, thank you. But um, if you like this, maybe we'll do this more often. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll we do can, uh, chapter chicks in on some yeah. too. Maybe we'll do like a book review, non-spoiler book review, like we always do. And then we'll, on a few of our favorite books, we'll do an actual book discussion that you guys can watch. But you'll have to have read the book um, so that you won't be yeah. spoiled. Or the Unless series. you're the kind of person that likes to be spoiled. Mm -hmm. So, let us know if you like these book discussions. So, this is going to be titled Mocking Jay Book Discussion. Spoilers. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so, that was that. Let us know if you, what your guys' thoughts are and if you agree. So, um, that's it for Mocking it's Jay. Peace out time. Yep. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us which way is that supposed to go. Is it peace out or is it peace out? Because <laughs> that's going out. I think yeah, it's peace out. Probably. Or did I just totally make that up? <laughs> so, you say happy. Happy reading. Bye, guys. Bye.